tired initially. But once you get beyond that, you just ready to go. Melanated people, can, I mean, uh, uh, pink people can die off in this concept. So I'm saying that to say the Ancaster said when that occurs, a lot of them are going to have to go underground. And for those of you that have seen the new version of the time machine, remember the new version? They had the very pale people underground, the melanated people were above ground, right. and at night, initially, the pale people would come above, from underground and take melanated women and men, they'd eat the men, and they'd take the women and rape them and keep having sex with them and have children, and as they had the children that got melanated, then those melanated people became day walkers. Just like in the movie Queen of the Dam with uh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah. And that's another thing they wanted me to point out. Right now, the Ancaster said there is a mad dash of pink men on melanated women. They said sisters really don't even need to fall for that because it's not about what you think it's about. At the end of the day, they're at a point where they've come to the realization that Instead of when we were at a point attempting to help them, and they didn't want our help, we got to keep the wide race pure. So they came up with the miscegenation laws to stop the intermarrying and this kind of thing, which would help breed more man into them and breed the pink out by putting melanin in, and that would also breed away the tails. Because they did a PBS special. Has anybody seen the PBS special? The family that walks on all fours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man. I mean, it's kind of deep. There's a, there's a couple, they're cousins, and they have like 19 children, all of whom initially walked on all fours. That means their palms were on the floor, and their feet were on the floor, and their butts were up in the air. They all were born walking like that, but most of them eventually came to walk upright, and like five of them cannot walk upright. They walk around on all fours to this day. But they also show two pale individuals, the back of them with their tail, the naked butts with the tail still hanging and attached. Who saw that? Only two people. You guys, it's, it's PBS, the family that walks on all fours. Because everybody's heard about, oh, because you know, they used to say that we had tails. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, the Ancaster said, they have played the most fabulous trading places game on us ever. We were called everything that they are, and we've become everything that they are. And let me see if I can find some of the notes they had me take on that. I could go from my memory, but I, I don't like doing that because I, I have a tendency to forget some things. But one of, okay, yeah, this is too much data. But one of the things they said is that, uh, the original slaves or slobs was them. Right. Now that's a title applied to, to us. The original ghettos housed them. Yeah. Now it houses us. The original gangsters were them. And what's the name of that movie about the gangsters in New York? Gangs in New York. The, and and um, <laughs> the bastards of the party, the HBO special mm -hmm. about the little brother from L.A. That's a blood that's telling... How, because he just got to a point one day, he was like, man, where did all this start? How do we all start killing one another? What is it about? So he did this whole special called The Bastards of the Party. It's an HBO special. If you have not seen it, it is worth watching because it points out in there, and there's a pink guy, he was a historian. He gave them all this information. He exposed, well, the police lied about this, and he's pink. You know, you believe it when, it, when they tell you. The police lied about that. The news lied about this. They said the gangs were doing things they weren't doing. But by the time they finished filming the bastards of the party, that white boy was dead. I'm curious to know why. We know that probably was not. I don't know what the reasons were, but by the end, it was in memory of him. So some of you guys have seen it then. Oh, that's deep. Now... One of the things is, they, call, they had all these European gangs in L.A. that used to attack brothers, so a lot of brothers started coming together to protect themselves from the original gangs, who eventually became LAPD and L.A. sheriffs, who still beating the hell out of brothers today, you know, and they don't know. But the original gangs were them, now we're called the gangbangers, the Bloods, the Crips. The original, yes. I just wanted to, I just wanted to add that uh, I saw with my own eyes 
that there was a white a white chick over in the projects over here in in uh, Chicago dropping off drugs to gang bangers before the, the gang bangers and, and, and everything starts to um, yeah, but it was a white girl. He said a white girl was, uh, he saw a white girl with his own eyes dropping off drugs in the, in the projects before yeah. gang banging really took off with our people, I guess is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, but remember, she's a Roman soldier. Yeah. And I'm, finna, I'm gonna keep going in a minute, but since we got on the tangent, I'm telling you what the orchestra is, because I gotta tell you as it comes for me to give it to you, otherwise I might forget. But they said that um, these, original, these, these original terms were them. The original criminals and thieves were them. They went around the world stealing people's land, stealing people's countries, stealing people's peoples, <laughs> you know. But now they call us the criminals, the thugs, and the thieves. When they're the criminals, thugs, and thieves. They're the masters of murder, but they call us a bunch of killers. All we do is kill each other. We haven't gotten to the point yet where we're turning the guns on them yet, or at least not in, in mass. So what they said was they have traded places with us, and they've become us and somehow we become them, and because we keep calling ourselves these things, we are going to keep being these things, because when you're melanated, it is what you say it is. We are what we say we are. If we say we're from the ghetto in the ghetto, well, we're going to be from the ghetto in the ghetto because we create the reality. But they said that the sisters need to understand that when it comes to the European man making the mad dash on them, and these pink people adopting all of our children, they're doing that so that when we rise up, or if we rise up, is whether or not we rise up depends on how many of us really get this, this concept that we're dealing with like today. If and when we rise up, Europeans want to make sure that they have these little fractured minds of, of mangala, tainted, infected people that look like us, hoping that they can send them out with the Khufus and the turbans and the, and the Tashikis and you know the whole Malcolm, whatever. Yeah. Coming out there looking like you and talking like you, but they're not you. But they look like you, so you bring them in the fold and they're really sent there by the enemy who can do a, um, what was that movie that, uh, what's his name was in? The Manchurian Candidate kind of thing and trigger them to turn on your people. They put them in there as an infection to create the chaos so we can't keep it together. Yes, sir. That's part of the Jesuit order. Oh, it is a Jesuit order. I'm coming to that. See, he always gets ahead of me. I let his brother. He, oh, you always get ahead. He's a, he's a leaper. And that's good. Is your hand up? Oh, okay. But what they're going to do, they said, is this. They're going to do like the new version of the time machine, which is to send... These, uh, uh, they're going to use these children, take some of them underground, have some of them they're, they're going to send out, hoping to take us out. And then when they send them underground, they can breed with them and try to keep some melanin so they can continue to survive, like they did in the time machine. But it's also going to be like they showed in the, uh, the, the movie Queen of the Dam with Aaliyah. Yeah. Mm. Now remember, she, like a lot of sisters, became tired of her mate and his not getting what she was about. And she took him out, like sisters are taking brothers out. See, sisters, I know they get pissed when I go here, but sisters are really helping to take my brothers out because they don't know what they're doing because they don't understand what the game is. And they don't understand who the enemy is. Now, she took her maid out, and she found this pink guy, and he was all that as far as she was concerned. So she let him drink from her essence and get her energy and made him a day walker. And what he did is he opened, when she opened herself up, he let all these other pink people take her out. And, and after they took her out, and like she told them, you kill me, you kill yourselves, which is really what they'll do. But what he did is after he took her out, he took everything that he got from her and gave it to the pink woman. Yeah. Oh. That's right. And that's what's going to happen if sisters don't get it. And that's fine for sisters that want to deal with pink men or whatever, that's your business. I would say a lot of them are there for economic reasons or whatever, try not to give these people any children because the Ancestor said 
they'll do like they did way back in the day, which my people don't know enough history. Way back in the day, to infiltrate and get the land because the wealth was passed through the women. That the pink man would hook up with a white woman, I mean, with a sister girl, do like they did with Pocahontas, take her to Europe, and somehow she never made it back. She wound up dead. He came back, claimed the land. They used to get with these sisters. They would declare her mentally incompetent or something, have her put in an inside, insane asylum, and they'd sit on the wealth and sit on the children and do God knows what with these children. And a lot of these guys will take these children when they have them with these sisters, 